Uh, main two challenges that corporates face uh, with the cross-border payments. Uh, first is the, uh, you know, speed. Is you know exactly when you are obviously executing or starting the payment, but you don't know when the payment will arrive in the beneficiary side. It could be a matter of days or it could be a matter of weeks in some occasions. And then uh, another point to be highlighted and another uh, another challenge that we are facing is a matter of cost. Because when there are different correspondent banks uh, as uh, in the middle of these transactions, uh, in some occasions the banks are basically deducting some funds and there is a difference between the amount that you are ordering or uh, initiating and the amount received from the beneficiary side. If I have to highlight is speed and cost. Swift GPI will change our industry in allowing banks to provide better service to their customers. It will also decrease their cost in terms of exceptions and investigations and really you know, customer inquiries as to where's my payment, uh, etc. And then there's a host of value-added services that we are developing with the banks uh, that will make it a much richer experience both for customers and for banks.当思维的组织提出了We want to be at the front of innovation and clearly we see that international payments is an area in which banks need to innovate. Uh, there's clear demand from our corporates uh, to innovate in, in this space and uh, that's the main reason uh, by which Santander uh, embarked in this project with SWIFT uh, at the beginning of the year. GPI is going to provide three very specific benefits to clients. Transparency of price is important not only for price comparison, but also for reconcilement. Improved service levels will allow clients to initiate payments and communicate to their beneficiaries in a way that's meaningful. And of course, traceability is the proof of those service levels. Clients will be able to identify and locate payments all the way along the chain. We've implemented using APIs, which is a world first, and we're really proud of that capability. Uh, it's a big part of NAB's innovation agenda to use APIs to open our capability up. Uh, and we see it as something that gives us a huge advantage in services that we can reuse. So over time we'll be rolling out uh, visibility to customers in our banking channels. And also we've got the option of enabling corporate clients to use APIs to connect and uh, view the status of the payments themselves. It's a real solution for a real customer need. We have pilot customers who are live now. They're very positive, they like it. Um, they, are, uh, they want to see more of it. So we would like more banks to be on board. So all payments, all cross-border payments to be GPI enabled. What we really valued through the GPI journey was the collaboration across the banks. This was really a great experience. Banks coming together, working together to really transform correspondent banking, show the fintechs that we can innovate as banks. So it harnessed all the power of the banks together, focused on an industry issued, and delivered a truly end-to-end -end solution for a common client pain point. It was terrific. That collaboration is something I hope to see going forward because I think if we continue to innovate on the foundations that were built through this first release of GPI, we will be unbeatable. I think the openness of the platform, that approach that Swift has taken, instead of making a Swift inside house innovation to open platform innovation, that itself is a big difference. That difference allows even non-banks like fintechs to participate and improve the GPI platform. And that itself is going to be monumental in getting more people involved in changing tomorrow's payments. My request for all banks that have not yet joined GPI is please do so. The benefits of GPI, transparency of price, traceability of payment, and consistent global service levels can only be achieved when we have critical mass amongst the community. 
So if you haven't joined Swift GPI yet, um, I believe that uh, GPI will become a um, necessary part of every bank's competitive offering. So I encourage you to join today. Um, it's a great service and um, the best value comes when um, all banks participate to give that end-to-end -end transparency. So join today. Get the advice of uh, some of your colleagues, bank colleagues that have implemented this before and go for it.